Okay, so this is Tormentor X Punisher. It is a game that came out last week, and in my opinion, it's one of the best um, twin stick shooters ever made, and I think you should play it if you like them. I'm going to try and explain why it's so good, and also how to be like kind of good at it. I'm not that good, but kind of good. So basically, it's really simple. You just move around left stick, uh, look around with right stick. There are two, only two buttons in the game. One is machine gun, which is right trigger, but your machine gun only has 10 bullets in it, the last, which, last of which makes a big fire uh, trail. How do you reload, you ask? You reload by pressing the shotgun button, which is the coolest reload uh, mechanic in the history of reload mechanics, probably. Um, and all you have to do is survive. Um, but there's actually a lot of death going on beneath the surface, because apart from the fact that it's about surviving and it's got this really amazingly funny and like hardcore aesthetic, um, there are trick shots that you can pull off in the game that basically, if you do 10 of any given trick shot, you get a specific uh, upgrade for that shot. Uh, for that type of a uh, special thing. So what you, I did there was a wally where I shoot the wall, the, the well, I just died there. Um, it's very similar to, to um, something like Devil Daggers where it's just you're just going to die a lot and the games last really quickly. So what I like to do is start off is try to get my um, wally uh, special attack filled up because basically if you do any special attack 10 times you get a very specific power. I said that already. Uh, in this case, if you get 10 wallies in a row, or not in a row, but ten wallies all around, uh, your shotgun changes from three blasts into occasionally five blasts, which is not huge, but wallies are also really, really easy to pull off, so that's why. Um, you can also get different power-ups, like there's one called Thanks, if I can ricochet, whoop, no, I just killed him. Uh, for example, if you ricochet uh, shotgun shells off of an sh enemy shield and it hits somebody else, that's called a Thanks. Uh, and then if you get a bunch of those, wow, 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 I did it good. Um, then that turns your shotgun ammo into a, like boomerangs. They'll come back at you. Uh, there are I died again, um, and there are a bunch of different bosses that come up. It's all just a high score game about chasing high score. I'm at like 16 today, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, so it's actually a, a really interesting and intricate dance between like, do I want to do the thing that will help me to survive the best at a particular moment, or do I want to do the slightly stylish thing that will upgrade my uh, gun and make my life easier? So the most useful upgrade in the game, probably at least that I know of is um, it's called Wizard Hat, which is, I'll try it when the um, wizards come out, but basically you need to like shoot your shotgun into an energy bolt by a wizard, and then when somebody gets stunned by it, you then hit them with your machine gun. And if you can do that, then um, 10 times, then your shotgun, I believe, just passes through enemy shields and your life gets a lot easier. Um, but I haven't even talked about the bosses, because I haven't survived long enough to show you the boss. But... Oh, this game's really fun. Good. Everything is, you can tell, very over the top. The, uh, the opening cutscene alone is like one of the best things ever. Wow, I'm doing real bad. I'm talking. Right, I'll try not to talk this time. I'll just see if I can at least show you a boss. Everything in the game dies in one hit, including you. Um, every boss dies in one hit. You just have to find a moment where they're susceptible to damage. It's a lot like um, if you've played the game Titan Souls, uh, which nobody did. Uh, it's a really good game, and it has the same kind of mechanic. Since so this game is actually relatively new, I don't know if everybody knows exactly how to get each of the power-ups or what they all do. So so long is just make sure an enemy is at the very, very tip of your... Okay, here we go. Nope, I just killed him. So you have to, like, get the shotgun pellet to kind of pass by somebody so they get the electrical current on them, and then you have to finish them off with a shotgun. It's tricky, which is fun. See, I'm like missing all the enemies and stuff, but that's because I'm trying to go for wizard's head and I died. This time's for real. This time's for real. I love is that everything's really well communicated. You always know exactly when an enemy is going to spawn. When they do, it gives you a little word that says, hey, this is what kind of enemy it is. Um, you always know when those shield guys are going to attack, try to shield bash you. Oh. You can also run over the spawns to despawn them, but you don't get as many points that way. Oop, did I get wizard's hat? I did. Yes. Yeah. 
We killed one hit. This guy, I have no idea why, what his susceptibility is. He just dies sometimes. I have no idea why. Yep, no idea what caused that, but I'm glad it happened. Uh, the bosses also changed the scenery, so because that uh, big boss guy was there, and now the arena is filled with pools of shit. Uh, Snitch will do the same thing, I think. He'll like put little ratty dra droppings and stuff. Piece of cake. Just dodge the arrow! Oh, alright. Well, that was still pretty good. I would call that an above average run. Yeah, it's okay. Not my best. That's my best. So, that's Tormentor X Punisher. It's uh, currently on sale on Steam. I would highly recommend checking it out if you like twin stick shooters.